Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Got a couple things that I forgot to do in the last episode, namely in the quest book. So if we can get our hands on a lava clay bucket, that'll give us two aluminum brass ingots, which is, you know, kind of whatever. Uh, but it will also open up these quests over here. Also, we can now claim this, and that can get us a pot or a reward bag. I'm totally going for the reward bag. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, hey, bread. Come back. We have... Purple stuff. Cool. I was... I was hoping for something that wasn't... Purple stuff. I will admit. Um... And I'm just gonna toss that heart into the void because I have no use for it whatsoever. We did, however, get a couple of eggs. So we have now... Two spawn sheep and two spawn cow eggs. Uh, the sh one of the sheep we had before. If I remember correctly, though, I heard that mobs uh, are hostile in Agrarian Skies too. So I'm gonna have to test. I, I want to test that out in a creative world before I actually spawn it here. Because if that's the case, I'll have to find a way to kind of contain it and all that kind of good stuff. So. Let's talk about how to get clay. So there's a few things here that we can take advantage of. We do have some dust, which you get by basically repeatedly pulverizing cobblestone with a hammer. And if you have two full if you have a full barrel of water and you put the dust in there, there you go. You get clay. It's that simple. And then you can break that and get the lovely little clay balls and all that good stuff. So let's make one of these, and I'm going to take that coal out and put you in there, and I'll just cook it with a piece of wood. And that way, we'll be able to complete this quest right here. So that's basically the plan. Are either of my lavas done? Yes, this one is done. And ta-da, there we go. We have two aluminum brass ingots, which are going to be extremely useful once we get a Tinker's Smeltery set up. Speaking of which, what do you need for a Tinker's Smeltery? Well, you need clay, which I just showed you how to get. We need gravel, which we get from basically pulverizing cobblestone over and over again. And you need sand, which you also get from pulverizing cobblestone over and over and over again. So basically, all we really need to get a smeltery at this point. Hello, Enderman. Come here. Ooh, Ender Pearl. That's so. I actually really needed that badly. Very badly. Let's get rid of all these. Oh, if I could set up. If I could set up the automated cobble gem, that would be amazing. So let's see. We might actually be able to do that. Let's take a look at uh, an item transfer node, which is right here. Okay, ooh, I don't have redstone. But I could make a uh, transfer pipe, I think. Oh, I need redstone for that, too. Hmm. Everything else is completely doable, though. So, really, I think my best bet is probably to let the... Hmm. Yeah, I think my best bet... Or I suppose I could go into the nether. That might be an option. So, if we put lava into here... And, I mean, I suppose we could just make a nether portal. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Right? Maybe? Maybe? I guess we'll find out. The nether, though, there are some nasty things. So, eh, we'll have to see. But I do need redstone very, very badly. And I think it's probably worth it. Even though this seems a little bit early. But I think we'll be okay. So let me get some work done here, guys. And I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys. I am back. And I think I just thought of something that might actually be really, really helpful. So 
if we convert this into aluminum brass nuggets, we can make four of these, which we can then surround an emerald with. And we happened to find an emerald last episode while we were sorting through all the random junk. Are the things on fire right now? No, doesn't look like it. Um, and then we can make ourselves a silky jewel already. And that's awesome because in the nether, uh, stuff will mostly leave you alone as long as you're mining with silk touch. If you're not mining with silk touch, very bad things. Very, very, ooh, hiccups. Very, very bad things happen. So I think that's definitely going to be the way to go. Uh, let's dump this off. Oh, no, come back. And there we go. We got a couple pieces of obsidian. This is going to take a little while, it appears. Well, maybe not. I do need to put more cobble in there, though. Keep that thing going. There's all my cobble. There we go. And you know what we could do, actually? Is something like that. No, no, that's not going to work either, huh? Okay. Well, if we do this, then we can get them both at once. So, working towards another portal. I'm going to work on that for a little bit, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a little while. All right, guys, I am back, and this may be a horrible decision, but uh, I am going to set up another portal, and I'm going to run with it, and we're going to see what happens. So, let's find a spot to do this. I'm thinking maybe over by the mob farm. Speaking of which, has there been anything useful that spawned over here? Not particularly. Just junky stuff. Really need a witch to spawn and drop me some redstone. That would be the best. If you could just do that, I would be very grateful. Anyway, so let's see. If we decide to do this over here, let's just do it like... Oh, I don't know. Where can we put this? Maybe down by the farm over here or something. I don't know. I gotta find a better spot for some of this stuff, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put it right here for now, and we'll make it work, I guess. Um, I need... Cobble. There we go. And I'm just gonna dump a bunch of this stuff I don't really need right now. And in fact, it's probably wise of me to get it out of my inventory right now. Just so that it's not in my inventory, hogging up space. So, let's see here. We go... What's your mining level? Iron. I can mine iron with it. But that doesn't mean... That means I can't mine redstone. Which is a problem. Hmm. Well, either way... We're going to head into the nether and see what our nether spawn looks like before I decide on anything else. So let's go one, two, three. And one, two, a three. A oh, one, two, three. And I'm just going to go torch and torch just to keep those areas from being spawnable. And then we'll put that here. And do I want to go into the nether right now? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to take the... Well, no, because this has luck in it, so it can't actually get the boosted, can it? Oh, man. That's too bad. All right. Well, uh, since I can't put Silk Touch on the pick, I think I'm going to try and make a new pick to take into the nether with me. So I'm going to do some grinding, guys, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I have been grinding away, getting stone and stuff and things, and I now have 64 seared brick from pulverizing all that. Also managed to get a fair amount of ores and other stuff as well. So I now should be able 
to make everything I need for my smeltery. So let's see here. We're going to need one of those. We're going to need a controller. Let's see what else the book says we need. We're going to need a seared tank, which I believe is... Oh, do I? Oh, okay. I was going to say, do I not have any more coal? There we go. Uh, that's going to have glass in the middle. I'm also going to need one of those. And I think I will have enough for everything. So... Let's make the tank like that, and then let's actually go ahead and make two of these right away, and one of those, and one of those. All right, that should be everything I need for my smeltery. Let's fill up this bucket of lava, and let's grab ourselves some cobblestone, and right here... I made a little platform down here uh, for where we're actually going to put the smeltery. So, let's build this out a little ways. It's not going to be a very big smeltery, at least not for starters. So, let's go... Let's see. We'll put the... Do, do, do. So we'll have three, th uh, yeah, better bring that over a little bit more. There we go. And we'll do that. Okay. So this will be our right wall. So we'll go like that. And actually, let's go ahead and claim this reward. And we can claim that reward as well. Ooh, and we got some aluminum brass for that. Awesome. That is really good. And iron, if I get two iron ingots, I can have that, but I don't need that just yet. So we'll go like this. And now I need to keep building this platform over. Oh, come on now. Misplaced blocks galore. Every day, all day, that's okay. There we go. And we'll put a torch over here. And I guess I'll put a torch over here as well. Okay. So this should do the trick. And one, two, three. And actually, you know what? Some of these have to be like the controller and all that kind of stuff. So... Let's just go controller there. Um, over. Wow, this is this is a little low. I'm gonna get rid of those. Uh, right here, I think this is not a three by three, is it? I cannot count. Oh man, the face palmage today. I will tell ya. Holy cats! Can't believe I derped that one up. There we go. That's a little better. Now, one, two, three. And so we put the drain there. We can put the tank here. And then on this side, I think, is where we will put, like, the, uh, the drains and all that kind of stuff. So let's go like that. Put you here. Uh, you need to be a brick. You are... Hmm. Wow. I might actually need to make a few more of these. I guess we'll find out. One, two, three. And we put a drain here and here. Yeah, sure enough. Quest book lied. That's okay. And then we'll put a basin there. Faucet, faucet. And a table thing. And that should work out. Give ourselves a little space over here just so we don't fall off. And once we put that in, this should now be a functioning smeltery. And it looks like it is. So let's put our aluminum brass in there. Let's also grab that other aluminum brass from over here. And then we're going to grab the stone pickaxe, the binding, and the tool rod. 
as well as some iron, I think. I don't think I have anything that's stronger than iron. Yeah, I think this is what we'll pretty much have to stick with. And that's fine. We'll have plenty of it once we actually get into the nether. So let's bust this down into dust. There we go. And there we go. All right. So down the ladder into here. That's already made. That needs to go in and those need to go in. And then we can go about making our first, our first casts. So we'll make the pickaxe head and the binding. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then the tool rod will be next. Already done. Excellent. And there we go. We now have everything. Ooh, I should also... Oh, I should have made the ingot cast. Oh. Oh, well. We can, luckily for me, make a little bit more aluminum brass. So that's what we're going to do. And to make that... It is uh, three aluminum and one copper, if I remember correctly. So there's our three aluminum. And then we need one copper. So might as well convert all of this at once. There we go. And there we go. All right, so we have our dusts. That should be everything we need, I think. Let's pop on down there. And we'll put one of you in and the three of you in. That'll make a bunch of aluminum uh, brass, which I can use to make more casts. For now, though, I want to make an iron pick. So we'll take you. We'll take you. I'm just going to keep it real simple and make the whole thing out of iron. And there we go. Now I have all of that. And there's still some iron chilling in there, but I... Uh, actually, I should probably make a sword with that. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's see. You are going to hold on to these for the time being. And then we need to go tool station. Pickaxe. And put that together. There we go. Only has a mining level of iron, so I'll have to level it up a little bit. That I can do over there killing mobs. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and make this stuff as well. And I'm going to take that iron piece. And let's see if I can get the stuff together to make an iron sword while I'm at it. Because, I mean, we are heading into the nether here very shortly. So we're going to put one seared brick down there. Make that ingot. And then we'll make a stone sword blade. How many ingots are in here? Six. Okay. And a wide guard. There. Now... I should be able to make myself an iron sword. And we'll put that one down. I did, of course, forget the tool rod that I need. But that's easy enough. And bada bing bada boom. We now have everything we need for the sword as well. So, it's all good. It's all good. Um, let's put down our ingot. And get that last iron ingot out of there. And then I'll just leave the aluminum brass right where it is because I'm going to need it to make more casts and things like that. So, uh, tool station, sword, you, and, oh, did I really do that? I forgot to actually make the wide guard. Oh. Man. I knew I forgot something. All right, let me get everything together, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and I just finished up leveling my 
iron pick. So, that is awesome. I now have an open modifier for Silk Touch, for sure. And uh, I also got reinforced on it, which is good, which is good. So, the first thing we're going to do is add the Silky modifier to this thing. And now it has... Why does it say mining level copper? Is copper... Dan hmm? Okay. Well, whatever. It should still be higher than my flint, I would think. Um, so we'll grab that. And I am going to go ahead... And we're going to head into the nether... But I think we're going to do that in the next episode, guys, because in this one, we have run out of time. And we have a smeltery and all sorts of other stuff that we've managed to accomplish. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.